Well, welcome to the channel. And a lot of you know this bike, the S1000. It's my BMW S1K. Fast bike, real good, I enjoy it. You know, I keep it at 180 plus, that's what I do. But it's not about this bike today. We, we ain't here about this one. We about this one here. This is the bike that a lot of people know me by. Rode it for a long time. I freaking love this bike. It's everything to me. <laughs> so, like I've been waiting a long time to finally get to the point where I can build her exactly the way I wanted to. Because before, I didn't quite have the money, so I tried to cut some corners. And on top of that, I ran the bike without a tune and threw a rod, long story short. So, I actually found, this time I didn't want to build it without rods, so I actually found a set of rods for the bike actually last night. So, since then, I went and picked up the parts. I'll go show you what I got. And then, uh, pulled the bike out. I'm a power washer. As you, as you can see, she's freaking dirty as hell. She's super dirty. She's been sitting up for a couple years on top of that when the other engine blew kicked oil everywhere so as you can see all the nasty grime and all that disgustingness in there so i'm gonna get her power washed up today start getting her ready i'm gonna start ordering parts get the rods and pistons well i already have the pistons but i'm gonna get the rods coming for it uh, yeah so let me uh get this thing washed up and then later on I'll tell you my plans for it and what i got going Let's get this shit done, son. Hell, words cannot even describe how hype I am about this shit, bro. I've been waiting a long time. A long time to do this build. Long time. I've been saving, changed a lot of things in my life to be able to do and get to this point. So, um, and I'm about to build her in all the glory that she definitely deserves. Definitely deserves. So basically while I'm grabbing this shit, I'll kind of tell you what my whole plan is for her. So basically, I'm keeping with the 78 millimeter piston, so that'll give me 1052 cc. I'm having the crankshaft, like I said, I'm taking it to the shop and when I get the pistons, and bringing that all to him so I have everything fully balanced. Um, Cause I'm just like that motor, I'm getting rid of the counter shaft, the crankshaft counter shaft revs higher spins better so i have it straight balanced i don't have those issues because it's going to turn up i'm going to turn up the revs too to about 15 grand that's why i want it fully balanced that's why i want it forged and that's why i'm going with the upgraded springs and valve retainers so she can take all of it so once i get that done that crap totes got to go and i'm gonna do a full exhaust um i don't know i'm thinking sc project or acra i don't know exactly which one yet but definitely gonna do that um so yeah that's my plans she should be definitely pushing about 200 something plus horse thinking about 220 215 220 wheel and i'm thinking around 240 plus at the crank she's gonna be a monster man i ain't, i'm not cutting no corners and I'm definitely gonna do carbon fiber wheels. I wanna do the TFT screen. I actually got a TFT screen that's full race with a GPS, everything on it. So I'm kinda hype about that. I wanna put that on there. And I'm probably gonna do all the electronics on her as well. And I'm probably gonna end up doing some smack down. So I'll probably end up pushing the wheel back a little bit all the way to the back and having the strap. So when somebody really wants that work, they can get the smoke and get fooded up. Cause I'm with that, so. Yeah, let me get this shit clean, stop running my mouth. And uh, get this power washer going, get this bike cleaned up, and then later on, I'm gonna start stripping down both those blocks so I can get the cranks out of it. So, hey, if y'all wanna come on and watch, man, I appreciate anybody sharing this time with this channel, man, because this is just the start. I got M54 building, builds coming, I got the all-wheel drive Integra coming. I'm gonna start ordering the transmission and shit for that in the next couple weeks. So, yo, this year is the come up, man. It's the year of speed, I'm four wheels in too, so yeah. Follow my journey, man. I'm going to vlog it all.
spray clean the fuck out of this shit, man. This shit has so much built up oil from that motor blue and this nastiness and sitting around everything sticking to it. Much better, much cleaner. She looks good, man. Ready. I like being able to, I almost feel like I have two bikes. My shit's been sitting in the closet for like forever. <laughs> so this is my motor that I actually built originally that I blew up. I got the head off her. That's the head right here. This head's still good to go. I already had everything checked on that. I had that done a while ago. As you can see, it has full port polish, three angle valve job, everything. So she's good to go, but actually I'm gonna do the HRC, HRC springs on her. So I'm gonna get those done and um, go in HRC cams and we're gonna turn the rev living up, but I'll go more into that later. But uh, basically on this one, you can see the big ass hole right here where I blew it up last time. So the only thing I could salvage out of this is just these three pistons. I'm gonna replace the one piston and um, go in uh, forged rods and Wiseco 78 millimeter pistons. I went and picked this up earlier too because this is my extra motor I had. She's been sitting out, she looks horrible, but I'm gonna get it cleaned up and ready. But that's the old head that was on the original motor. That's trash, I don't care about that. But what the actual cylinder block separates on these, so I'm gonna pull the cylinder block off of this old motor. I'm gonna have that sent out and I'm gonna have this uh, bored out and ready for the new pistons. Then I'm gonna actually take the crankshaft that's in this motor is the one that I'm gonna use. This is a 2010 motor where the other one was a 2008. So I'm gonna run the crank out of this motor. So basically I gotta pull the crank out of that motor. I gotta pull the crank out of this motor and I gotta bring it to my uh, machinist. So he's gonna look at the old cuts, what he did previously and he told me it'll help him get the crank done faster. Cause it takes him freaking forever. I'm not gonna mess with him, I'm gonna send it out and get it done. So once I do that, once I do that, I get the rods in, I can assemble the block and I'll be good to go from there. And uh, then it's just get the head on and get it done. So yo, I'm hype. I'm hype as shit right now. I'm super hype. I'm super hype. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I got it back in the room. I'm gonna end this video for today. You know what I'm saying? 
I know I'm kind of trash at the YouTube thing, so just hit me with the comments or anything that you might like to see, you know what I'm saying, or any information I'm not telling, I'll be happy to go over it. But uh, next video, I'll go over the crank. I'll show you the parts that I got because I've already got my, um, my single piston I needed. I got the rods. So I got those linked up. So, yeah, I'll go over that next video and we'll start getting this motor assembled. This and a few more parts. I'll get it done. So, yeah, appreciate it, man. And, uh, yeah, she's going to be beasting soon. Off to the dyno.